someone creates an idea, someone births it. I know there are you know, a thousand fathers and it's a successful one, but um, generally it, the seed of the idea starts with someone and then it has to get passed off to others who end up collaborating and then it becomes our idea, right? But the question is, what is our idea in this digital age? Because it's not just our idea, it's not just all of us who are in marketing, it's actually all of our constituents, all of our audiences also becomes our, becomes, become the fathers of our idea and the collaborators in it. So I'm not quite sure we've figured out how to do it, but we're gonna talk about it as a panel about how to do it. Um, and I think I'd like to start off the panel uh, just by asking, what is an idea? Because I think we see campaigns um, and there's certainly an idea in that, but is, an, but is an idea something that is just one thing? Um, what is an idea in, in 2008, especially compared to an idea in, you know, in advertising in 1990? Alan, you're, you're just... <laughs> uh, I'll be the first victim. You're my favorite um, victim. I, I think that you know, something that is born of real consumer insight um, where, uh, you know, Deborah mentioned there were five different target audiences uh, for that particular product. I think, you know, the, the, the smart agencies are ones who are really digging into those segments and really unearthing from a planning standpoint insights that will drive the gestation of a big business building brand idea. And, um, I mean, I'm, I don't want to argue whether or not there was a key insight there that drove that execution but what I think the first building block of that is, is mm -hmm. something that, you know, whether the planner belongs to the general agency or whether the, the account planner belongs to the digital side of the house, it can come from anywhere. Those insights can come from anywhere as long as there's an agnostic process for that insight to surface for all creatives to, you know, collaboratively, you know, think about that insight and just state a big business building idea. That'd be my my take on it. Agnostic. So, you know, channel neutral, um, everybody able to participate in it. Does, does that actually work? I think for us, finding the idea is half the battle, and, but it should not be underestimated. Like, it's really about something new that connects to the user in some way. I know by the user, I mean the consumer on the computer, obviously, we're talking interactive. But it is only half the battle in the sense that like, finding that idea is the greatest thing, but the, because of the way things are right now with all these different parties, collaboration being this thing that we're talking about that hasn't been perfected, like you said, the execution is the other half of that. And the two go hand in hand. Defending your idea all the way through the process is almost as important as the idea you come up with at the beginning to me. So is there, is there ultimately a problem in the execution at the execution stage more so than at the idea stage, do you think? I think they're the two big places you have the problems. Okay. Yeah. If you have a great idea and you don't mm -hmm. follow through, it's useless. If you have a terrible idea and you execute perfectly, it's useless. But the focus on one over the other, I think, is probably not constructive, generally speaking. Deborah, how bad is the, uh, the execution side of, of taking that idea and rolling with it? I think that's where it comes because a, a, an idea um, motivated by a, an insight is, in, in some senses, that's the beginning and mm -hmm. easier part but really getting everyone to have the discipline to see it all the way through to the end because the end result is, for us, I mean, you want people to come into the dealership, you want people to take an action. And that's where it's usually easier for it to get, to kind of lose its way because people get so in, in, enamored with the idea. So I think having a reinforcement among all the teams about, no, we really want it to come all the way down to here is what ends up being the critical piece. And if you can keep the team together, cohesive so that, that that can happen and you keep reminding mm -hmm. ourselves that we really need to stay consistent. Our, our whole purpose is to get here focused off of that. Is, um, that's where it either works or it falls apart. So is that the real antagonism? I, I heard such passion, Dilo, in, in you about the idea um, and the blossoming of that idea. But then to get you know, seats in trial rides in yeah. a, in a uh, Dodge dealership, is that where it falls apart, or does it fall apart? Is it you know, easy to make, it, make that waterfall happen so that the big idea that stimulates interest and engages people in, in entertainment also ends up getting them into the dealership? Yeah, well, um, we've talked about like, the idea execution. I think that point of, you know, the point of engagement is so important, too. And I think that like, a few years ago, it was like having a big idea was like what was talked about, the yeah. big idea, mm -hmm. and then it was about integration and like, how many ways could you just sort of like push this through how many channels and get it there? And 
my, my discovery or experience working, working on projects is that, you know, it's, it's like the integration part of it is, is sort of like very mechanical and, and uh, when Deborah had mentioned about like Marines, they know a little bit about what each other does but there's this overall mission. When you put together um, groups of let's say like an idea that might come from a traditional agency but you've got like a digital agency, you really hope or you want that there's an opportunity for them to sort of like go, I take that mission but we work with it different and we kind of want to engage it a different way. And um, you know, in that case there might be fantastic smaller ideas that come from the big thinking of whatever it is but express itself in a very different way where it's like, no, just do that. And I think as digital agencies have all this experience and expertise and a lot of it you don't even know until you get into it. And they're constantly challenged, I think, with uh, coming up with something different every single time. Um, you know, a lot of my arena is, is trying to produce content that uh, is sort of dependent on, on pieces of traditional narrative. Where it gets really exciting is like trying to design content that can be used in a lot of different ways mm -hmm. and that, uh, that can have a different sort of dialogue online with the consumer you know, or with just a person interested to play with something as a piece of entertainment than it can as a message.